that team's gonna win again tonight? No way, that team has won six times in a row. I bet they're gonna lose this time. Well, you got a point. Fallaciously presents Gambler's Fallacy. Also asks Monte Carlo Fallacy. Fallacy. Or the fallacy of maturity of chances. And this is a fallacy of false cause and it is an informal fallacy. It is a questionable cause, which is part of informal fallacy. Yeah, false cause. Yep. And to explain the previous example, in the example, something happened too much. People um, likely assume or think that it must be the opposite. Oh, they won six times in a row. They must lose this time, this game. Example number one. I think it's gonna be a tail next. Well, but it had like, um, it flipped a t tail for nine times in a row now. And before the tail, it only fl it flipped seven times for the head. So I think. Yeah, maybe it's gonna be a head next. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, me too. And to explain, the seven head possibility concluded that the following flip would be another head after such a long, continuous flips of tails. Mm -hmm. Example number two, two. Do you know that um her family has three ba they had three baby girls in a row? What? And they're now having another baby. Well, oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. Do you think the baby's gonna be a boy or a girl? Yeah, I think it's gonna be a boy. Cause since like there were three baby girls born in a row, must be a boy this time. Possibly. Mm -hmm. And to explain that, same, kind of similar to all the example we did. It's like too much of something, then something opposite maybe, like like three rows of baby girls. I mean, three baby Oof. girls in a row. I'm a baby then, girl. You're not a baby. <laughs> and then it must be like a boy next time. Yeah. Logical form. So, when the previous events concluded, mm, yes or no, false or true, and or okay or not okay. Therefore, it will be assumed that whatever was the majority occurrence of like the past, the previous stuff, would be the opposite of the actual thing that had the majority chances. And that's it for today about Gambler's Fallacy. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to Fallaciously. And like also, this video. Yes, and comment down below if you want any specific fallacy you want us to do. And no. like. Bye.